If you employ mass CAPs, it'll be inconvenient managing them one by one using a web browser. To manage them efficiently, you can use Omada Software Controller. Before everything else, consider whether your EAPs and the controller host are on the same subnet. If they are, the controller can find the EAPs directly. But if your EAPs and the controller host are on different subnets, you'll need to run an EAP discovery utility on a host on the EAP subnet to help the controller find them. If your EAPs and controller host are all on the same subnet, you can simply use the software controller to make everything easier. This video, however, will introduce the setup steps for when they are on different subnets. The setup consists of three steps. Step 1. Install the software. Let's imagine the following. You have the software controller running on host A on subnet 1, with an IP address of 192.168.10.10.10. Your EAPs are on subnet 2, and the discovery utility on host B is on the same subnet as the EAPs. You can go to the TP-Link Download Center to download the software, and follow the wizard to install it. Step 2. Configure the discovery utility. On host B, open the discovery utility. The discovery utility will find the EAPs on the same subnet. Select all the EAPs and click Batch Setting. Enter the IP address of the controller host and the username and password of the EAPs. Both are admin by default. Click Apply. Wait until they are all set. Step 3. Configure the software controller. On host A, open the software controller. Wait until it's started. You can click Hide to hide this window, but do not close it. After a while, your web browser will automatically open the controller's quick setup wizard. Now, you can follow the wizard to set up your controller. You can then enter the username and password that you have just created to log into the controller web management page. On this page, you can configure more functions. For a more detailed introduction, please refer to the user guide. If you want to learn more, contact our tech support, or join our community, visit the following links. Thank you.